So I get so many DMs from you guys asking, how do I start a luxury watch collection without spending a fortune? So we're at Happy Jewelers and we're gonna show you some pieces that I think, and I believe Gaben and Danny think, would be fantastic pieces to start with. So should we do it? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. So the goal here is to be able to start a collection without breaking the bank. Yes. They're still not the cheapest of watches, but we're gonna keep everything to like under 7,500 bucks, right? These are all great pieces. They're all yeah. big names. Let's start with the Cartier Roadster. This is a very classic watch, good looking. It's a good size. It has a nice tono shape. And what's cool about these is the bracelet actually detaches with the button from the bottom in between the lugs. So you can actually buy different straps for it as well. Oh, fun. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, it's an older watch. It's going to be like, you know, from early 2000s. But for like 36, 3700 bucks, how can you go wrong? You, you can't that really is, go up. Yeah. Cartier, really. it will last forever. It will last forever. You and can go it swim will. in it, do yeah. whatever you want with it. And am I right in saying that Cartier are starting to gain a bit of popularity they again are. now? They are. Even the vintage pieces. Even the vintage pieces. Oh, yeah, a lot of collectors that are really into watches, like not just Rolexes and Paddocks and things like that, they'll actually buy into Cartier movements because Cartier actually makes some of the rarest some of the coolest watches probably in the world that I've seen. Well, I remember they, I remember growing up, the Santos was the big deal. If you had yes. a Santos, you were king, yeah. right? And they kind of fell off a little bit, but now I see a lot of people wearing them. I think it's coming back. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, it's they, a great they, piece. They, they did a big push with the Panther and the Pasha. Talking there's, of there's which, right there. there's, there's, there's one the Santos right there. So tell us about this one. This is... That's the Santos 100. You know, they stopped making this, and it's a great looking watch, too. So Michael, back in his heyday, used to drive down Sunset Boulevard up and down with one of these watches. Yeah. Was that in your old Mercedes? Uh, was it an SL55? <laughs> no, it I'm was. Being, yeah, it was. I'm yeah. being serious. It, it was, but it wasn't class. with this watch. Oh, okay. no? no? Okay, was it with the Pasha? Yeah. I, I, I actually had one of these. It was a gold one, and it was a chrono. Yeah, you, oh, okay. you so that traded pretty. that one in to us. Your Cartier Pasha, you remember? You I came in with like seven, eight watches. It was was that in your junk box? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So this one, I don't believe I have the box and papers for. That's fine. So it's okay. just, just it's Cartier. Yeah, it's no big deal. Make yeah. sure you send it for authentication, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, this is this is. That's a great looking watch. A great looking watch. I mean, it's a good size, oversized. It is a good large. watch. It's yeah. a big watch. They actually have it in the Chrono version, which I have as well. How much is this one? That one is going to be at forty-five hundred. Forty-five, and then you have the bigger That's one. Oh, look at this guy. Let's, nice. let's make him naked too. For 5800 Puts them to work, you know. How much is that? 5800 50, That's a really good deal for the Santos. You hear that? Half. How, ma really how much were you going to say it was? I was going to say 6500 <laughs> <laughs> you, mean, you guys are not in sync when it comes you know, to prices. No, but I'm more like, Danny will say 59 Okay, it will sell today or tomorrow. One of your other guys will come and say, hey, I want that same exactly watch. We'll go find the form and we'll pay 6100 So on this one, that's but why Michael, it's with you, we're always in it to win it. The schmoozing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty watch, right? Yeah, they are growing on me. I'm not going to lie. This is a nice watch. It's a big watch. Look at the size of this watch. That's a big watch because this is a big watch. This is, yeah, the, the Skydoll is a big watch as well. But it's different because it's a square casing. So it's going to feel different on your wrist, but it's going to fit really comfortable. And this one is six, six grand, 5,800? 5,800. 5,800. We'll if say six sells, grand to make them happy. No, no, yeah. if it sells, you know, we, when we go buy it to like, go find another one like this because they don't make this watch anymore, we would have to find it from another dealer. Right. We're gonna pay he's still about got, He's still trying to raise the price. Yeah, I, I see that subtly, right? Just Indeed. come and see me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come right. yeah, exactly. All right, let's look at this guy. Top Gun. We should have you guys strip them all before we get yeah, here. Yeah, right? It shows you, the, it shows you the preparation that goes into these videos. Yeah. It's all live, guys. There's, <laughs> no, there's no scripting here. He just rips it off. I do. They're going to have a lot of fun taping all these back. Yeah, right. I'm going to blame it on you. My fault. Yeah. yeah. OK, so IWC Chrono. Top, yeah, Top Gun. It's all nice black. Watch also. Beautiful graph. watch. And it's a newer watch, too. This is, only, this is a 2022. $6,000. Great. Yeah, I love yeah. this. So again, you know, it just goes to show you don't have to spend six figures to get a top class, really, really well made watch. Pretty watch. IWC International Watch Company. Yeah, Inter yeah, International Watch Company. Yeah. You know, a lot of people when they come into a watch store, they get a little intimidated, right? They're like, oh my God, I have to spend 10, 20, 30,000 hours. You really don't. I mean, if you actually do your research and look into these watches, these are great pieces. It's not even like, I don't even want to say, oh, like, beginner watches because they're not beginner they're watches not, not at all you know what's next 
Yuli Snarden. Oh, Yuli Snarden. Yuli Snarden. How do you pronounce it? Yuli Snarden. Yuli Snarden. I believe. Yeah. I believe. I'll get corrected. Yeah, right you'll if, get corrected uh, get right corrected. now. <laughs> I think it's, it might be Ulisse Nardin. Oh. Is Nardin. The, yeah, yeah. getting real fancy about it. <laughs> so this, I'm surprised, is in this box because we're, everything here is under 7,500 bucks, right? Yeah. So these are not cheap watches. These are not cheap watches. The retail on this watch is probably anywhere from twelve to $13,000. Um, Pre-owned, 3,500. This it looks like brand new. Yeah, it looks brand new. And this one's how much again? 3,500. That's a lot of watch for $3,500. Yeah, that's you know, incredible. You know, but look look at the condition of the watch, Michael. So I thought like it was whenever, new. I thought it yeah. was new. So whenever we get watches in from trades, from collectors and stuff, of course, some of them are beat up. We have the best watchmakers to refurbish them, clean them up, you know, service them if they need to, yeah. and polish them up. We Literally, it looks brand we'll new. Make brand new. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm jumping out of this for yeah. one second Go because ahead. if I'm not mistaken, this is an MBNF. Yeah. Yes. Aren't these like 200 grand? <laughs> no. It looks like a 200 grand, 200,000 on watch. It looks like it should be, right? Yeah. So what's the deal with this? Why is this in this box? So this one actually retails for about $12,000. Is it an MBNF? It's an MBNF, yeah. $12,000. They do a charity every year where they raffle it off. And I believe the, the person that wins the raffle has the ability to buy it for around like four or five grand. They resell for in the seven to eight K range. This is how you tell the time. You have to put it on your wrist. And look, look, I actually wore the watch for really? a couple days. I, I liked it. I thought it was a really cool piece. I got a lot of attention. I'll tell you that. I'm sure. Do you guys ever watch uh, Pimp My Ride? Yeah, back in the day. Remember when is he that still around? Remember when he used to put spinners on yeah, like, yeah, people's yeah. SUVs and that's stuff? That's what it is. Exactly. Look, that, that's look, what it spins. Watch. That's cool. So this is how much? Seven. Seven thousand yeah. dollars. MBNF. I mean, that's oh, the kind I'm, of watch that if you wore that around watch collectors or around watch people. They'd think it was a couple of hundred grand. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. They would. My prediction is when this video comes out, that'll sell it in five seconds. I agree. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. But if it sells before the video, don't be upset. No. Yes. It might be me that bought it. No, <laughs> I, I'm not buying anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm done. No, no more watches for me. Here's a classic 36 millimeter. It used to be a men's two-tone Rolex. It's still a lot of guys still buy it with small wrist. This is stainless steel version. Yep, the stainless steel Jubilee bracelet. Under 7,500 for a two-tone? Yeah, yeah. two-tone Rolex. How yep. much? Uh, what is that, 7,500. That is It's that. right at 7,500. Yeah. And the steel one? Seven. And you're getting a Rolex under eight grand. Right. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, and it yeah. will never go down in value. I never. Mean, it, it's, nope. I never. mean, that's the beauty it of It only watches. goes up in value. Right? On the wrist, you really can't tell that the watch is from the 90s. No, you can't. Yeah. yeah. And that's why Rolex keeps their value. Yeah, no, they do a great job with that. Because like you say, if you see someone wearing that, you're not going to look at it and go, oh, that's an older no. watch. Yeah. No. And here we have the, the, the very famous Omega. Is this a Speedmaster? Let's, yeah, let's speed put master. them next to each other. And because then there's that's a, a second one. Like, yeah, older and newer one. So this is the vintage one. Looking yep. at the hands, right? This is right? the vintage one. That's the one that, Adam, you have one of those, right? The Speedmaster? No, I don't. Not yet. Oh, I thought Michael was going to... It wasn't no, he No, don't, don't start with that stuff again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Guys. I got, I got <laughs> slammed last time for not buying him the damn watch. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yes. I, even thought, I was like, I don't need you to buy me a watch. I, I know, but, but everybody said I should have bought you the watch. Well. But you would be offended if I bought you the watch. I would, I would. If you're going to buy me anything, a GT3 RS would be lovely. There you go. So we'll, <laughs> work, we'll work on that. <laughs> so t tell us about these. So these are Omega Speedmasters. It's going to be a 45 millimeter. I want to say this is going to be around like a 41 millimeter. This is going to be an older vintage. Omega, but look at the, like, I mean. Still looks like a large case. Yeah, a lot of people, when they grab it, they think it's like the newer, like, Sapphire and it has a light crystal. They don't realize it's the older one. $4,000. That's a really good deal. Really good deal. 5000 How would you price them, just for comparison? I would say, you know, just a few hundred bucks more. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about these watches, At least they're though. honest, right? Yeah, honest exactly. Deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about these watches that I love is that they have so much history behind them. Yes. So even yes. though it's an, a more of an inexpensive watch, you can talk about this way more than you can talk about a Daytona. For oh yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, you know? are you kidding me? And and d honestly, like the look of them, you know, they're they're very. Like, you know, I love these. Let, let's, yeah. take, <laughs> let, let's look at it properly. We've got to take the plastic off. So, but they are great. great. <laughs> <laughs> Rip it off. No, I mean they they have a very rich history. All right, let's continue. Let's, I like oh, this. Like, I know this is all you right here. Okay, this is your style. How do you so, that that was the first watch. When we set up the store, he's like, hey, I like that watch. 
Of course. Yeah. Is, like why, a, why does he like it? Because he's like yeah. a magpie. Is it steel? <laughs> no, this is stainless steel. Feels heavy. Yeah. yeah. So it's a stainless that steel dial. It's a custom Panther dial with the custom diamond bezel. Cartier actually does this, but they do it on white gold. They charge anywhere from like I think the retail is about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for it. It does go a little over the budget that we set, but I thought it was such a cool piece at like ten thousand dollars. Well, that's I a mean, lot of, we, lot we, of watch yeah. for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, we took yeah. that watch in trade. Uh, it's a great looking watch. I, I mean, it, we got, we took it in trade, but it will sell quick. Yeah, I just love the dial so much. I don't want to like. Michael, Beautiful. I think you could pull that Beautiful. off with your Panther shoes. I think he's missing some links. I have yes. extra links, don't L worry, like I'll six. find it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think look, look, that's that looks like it was a ladies. Yeah. 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 It was a yeah. ladies watch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'll put some extra links for you, Michael. There we go. Yeah. So here, in contrast, is the same watch. The Ballon, right? That's the Ballon, Ballon Blue. Blue. That's 42, Four, 42 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Automatic. And how much is this one? 4,500. That's a really good deal. That is a very good yeah. deal. That, that, that will deal. sell quickly. And then, you know, people will be lined out out the door. They would want a 42 millimeter what Cartier the, Blue. What is the, the MSRP on like this? Like 8,500. Wow. Well, yeah. That's a pretty watch. It's yeah. a very classy watch. You yeah. can wear that yeah. sporty or for dinner. That crown guard is crazy. Isn't that it wonderful? Is. It's hard yes. to like so put the it. date and the time. That's the most annoying part of this watch. It's really like, wait a second. But you don't watch. really, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. You just yeah. killed yeah. it right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you don't really have to do that very often, right? Once it's set, it's set. That's if true. you wear it there every you day. We, we recoup the best. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> but no, try. Oh my God, it's difficult. I, I'm yeah. telling you. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. damn it, there goes that sale again. <laughs> no, 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 watch. Oh, no, we're no, back. No, we're back. No, we can do it. It's just. You just have to get your nails in, in there. And yeah, yeah, get But it's very doable. Yeah. Just don't bite your nails. All right, what else have we got? Let's do the Tudors. Tudor? Yeah. So Tudor, for those that don't know. The Thinking is, Man's Rolex. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. Yeah, no, no, you can. It's um, what? The Thinking Man's Rolex. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, so yeah, this is right. owned by Rolex. And it is. One it, is titanium, the other one is a steel, blue face. Good looking. Look. So this is going to be the Tudor Pelagos, and then this one is going to be the Tudor Black Bay. This is the black bay? That's the black bay. Although it's blue. Although it's blue. Okay, and the black one is the blue bay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the Pelagos. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> and I how mean, much, great how, looking how watches. Much, how much are these? They look I mean, like look, Submariners. Brand new, 2023. They do. This one, we're going to be doing it at 4,500. And then right over here, this is going to be pre-owned. Oh, no, it's brand new. I'm sorry, brand new, 2023. And this one, we're going to be doing it at 3,800. That's amazing. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Could you pull That's, out a, a I was about Submariner? To say a Submariner, yeah. That's a lot of watch for 3,800 bucks. I mean, this is, this is stunning. I mean, here, comparison. This one. Yeah, look at that. Brand new. Very, very similar. How much is this one? $15,000 versus this. I mean, really, it's a lot of watch for the money. And also, let's not forget, you can't buy a Submariner in titanium unless you get that new, super crazy... The 50 millimeter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a cool piece too. But it's right. very high retail. So not only are you getting the same look as a Submariner, but you're also getting a titanium watch, which you can't get you that You can't get, the exactly. Interesting. And then, but you know, Tudors are tougher to get too. It's not like you can walk in yeah, and you can't walk in and just buy one, yeah. right? This is a very interesting watch. This is the Big Pilot, I think they call this, right? Yes, so this is an IWC, IWC. Big Pilot, seven day power reserve. Great looking piece. And they I make love a it. great watch. IWC is like, you could throw this against a wall and it would still. Oh, nothing will happen to it. It might get a scratch, but other than that, it'll work. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, the great, size of it, the watch. thickness. I mean, honestly, it's a this chunky one, watch. It yeah. is. The crown looks like a diamond. It's right? huge. Yeah. I won't take and the you plastic know, this off. This is actually 70 power crown. reserve as well. You want to take the plastic off? No, no, you don't need to. No, it's sure. Because it's so tight, it, you can still see. I wrapped that one myself. There you go. So they, I <laughs> guess he's like the, he's the, the crown. chief rapper. Yeah, chief. <laughs> Do you a know, rap the pilots yeah, back exactly. in the days used to wear those gloves. They wanted to make the uh, crown bigger, so it was easier for them to. Oh, that makes sense. You know, yeah. So what is it? It has a really for? big grip too. See, it's those kind of facts that he gets the extra money for. That's it. When he says those things like. I was gonna say like six, but we'll say 6,200 just for that fun <laughs> fact right there. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't need to be a pilot to buy yeah, it. Keep him happy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then if you ask Danny, he'll give you 200 bucks discount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just come over and ask him, I'll deduct it. <laughs> oh, man. Have we missed anything on this tray? Yes. Oh yes, we did that Cartier Pasha. Yes, yeah, so this is the You Pasha. had one of those too before. That's a nice watch. This is ceramic, right? Uh, it's no, not it's ceramic, rubber. it's rubber. It's, yeah. it's rubber it's with stainless steel, steel on yeah, the inside. Yeah, so it can rubber? actually, if yeah. as you're wearing it, it, it can actually chip. If you're not, uh, like, if you're you rough on your watches. 
it's not chipped like it will crazy. get damaged, well, damaged like yeah. ripped i've never you seen that it. yeah. it's almost like it's been uh, like plasti dipped yeah. right it's amazing wow. yeah. and this is how much uh this one we are doing it for 4200 a lot of watch for 4200 A lot of watch. And it's an oversized piece, too. It's not like a small watch. No, and this, yeah. is, this is very cool. And we have is... never, ever, ever seen that. No, yeah. I've never seen it. This is the first time I've ever seen this watch, let alone on a video. Yeah. Let me put that back in this tray. And then we're down to... Panerai. Or Breitling. Yeah, we haven't done this one. We haven't done this one. So let's do the Panerai. Panerai's are great watches. I mean, at one point, I think this was like maybe eight, nine years ago, Panerai had a crazy... Crazy, like, crazy yeah, phone. They yeah, still yeah. do, but it kind of dropped off a little bit. But honestly, for a pre-owned Panerai in a 44 millimeter or even a 42 or 40, 40 millimeter, you could pick up a great watch, not even just this one, anywhere from 3,600 to $5,000 and you're gonna have a lot of watch. So Panerai originally was the Italian, uh, Italian uh, police, was it? The, the, the military. It was military. military. So that tells you, let me take this. Well, I'm doing a Danny here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Rip it out. That's a pretty watch. It is. And this one's Pam 40, 4700. Pam 312, yep. And this is one of those watches again where it's pretty bulletproof. You yeah, can it is. Oh, you can whatever. do whatever you want with it. The sandwich dial. Here's a fun little fact that I don't know if you guys knew. At one point, Panerai's did have Rolex movements in them. They did? They did. I didn't know. I believe so. I didn't know really? I believe so. For like a very, very short period of time. I believe. I might really? be wrong there. It might be a different manufacturer. I'm pretty sure it's Panerai. I didn't know Go that. Can someone Google it? Because I don't want to be wrong on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late now. Just put in Panerai Steven, Rolex. Keep, keep this in <laughs> if it's Rolex wrong. Movement. Yeah. Panerai Rolex movement. I'm I'm pretty sure back in the very, like within the first couple of years, the military, when it was a military watch, they were using Rolex movements. And while he's Googling that, I'm going to show you <laughs> a Breitling. This is a big watch, very, very substantial feeling. Nice, right? Yeah, I do like, I like the blue. That's yeah, pretty. That's a good looking color. Good looking color. And chronograph. What yeah, you're right. Is that? They did. Hey! They did. Hey, they Adam did. knows his stuff. That was good. So, good. tell us about this one. That's a great looking watch, Breitling. A lot of watch. So this is gonna be the Breitling Avenger, and this is actually gonna have a GMT function in it as well. And a chronograph. And a chronograph. So it's gonna be an automatic movement, GMT function, which is a dual time zone, and a chronograph on top. Beautiful blue dial, black sub dials, gorgeous pilot bracelet at $3,300. Oh, that's a lot of watch for $3,300. That's yeah. crazy. That's a lot yeah. of watch for $3,300. And it's, you know, brands are great watches. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And and they, like, these last two years, they have came out with some amazing, like, designs. Yeah. And they really revamped the uh, uh, brand. They did. They're coming back. They did. Yeah, really. Pretty watch. Very pretty watch. Good looking. So, basically, you don't have to spend a fortune. This is a small selection of many watches that you could get in yeah. that price range, yeah. three to 7,500 bucks, 3,000 to 7,500 bucks. And start small and build and build and build and eventually you'll have a big collection. And it's a good thing, you can set yourself a goal, buy an inexpensive one or whatever yeah. your budget allows and then continue to add to that and you'll end up with a lovely, lovely watch collection. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, Michael, what else so have we got what, to say? What, what was your first watch? Like, I mean, you didn't so, start off with the $100,000 paddock. I had a stainless steel Submariner. Okay. Uh, I was 16, I wish I kept that watch. Um, it was a gift and, and uh, I, I loved that watch. It was my pride and joy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what set me off in, on the watch game because I wanted bigger and better and you yeah. know, I just fell in love with them. Everybody yeah. starts small. Yeah. They don't, you yeah. don't just jump into like big uh, Back pieces. then when I had that, it was like a couple of thousand dollars, which yeah. was a lot of money back yeah, then. Yeah, of course. But today, I mean, you, it's all you, the difference. nobody would buy a watch for a million dollars No, no. back in those days. And now no. it's, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Like, now it's, it's like- It's gone crazy. Yeah. But what a lot of people need to understand as well is like, most people that are buying these 100, 200, 300,000 dollar watches, it's very rare that the guy's just gonna fork the money out and buy it. Most of the time he's trading in his lower pieces to upgrade and you're gonna constantly move up. You buy a $3,000 watch, you trade it in for a 5,000 and then you buy a 5,000, you trade it up for a 7,000, 8,000. Yeah, and, and if, you, if you started a collection with $3,000, $4,000 watches and you have two or three of them, you can trade all of those yeah. for a $20,000 watch. Exactly. And that's, that's how you, yeah. you get there. So guys, this was fun. It was blast, yes, it always. Was. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, make sure your neighbor sees the video. That's it, I'm done. What, Adam? Go shopping. I'm gonna say bye.
Bye. Oh, go follow these guys as well. Follow these guys. Thank you. Now, <laughs> bye. Oh, one more thing. All the information will be in the description. Bye.